this is Dan Fashionbauer from Video Pizzazz. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to convert or re-encode a .mov file and convert the Kodak code to a PNG format so it can be imported into Camtasia 9. And I'm going to be using a couple free utilities that you can grab off the internet to accomplish this task. All right, so the first thing I'm going to do is create a new folder that I want these files to go into. So I'm just going to call it FFMPEG, and then I'll get into that folder. And you can create this folder anywhere you want. I'm just, I just happen to be creating it into my documents area, but it can reside anywhere. Now we need to download the FFMPEG rendering engine into this folder. So I'm going to go to this URL here, and I'm running Google Chrome browser, so it's downloading right here for me. And I will have these links in the video description below so that you can grab these files that I'm talking about. All right, so that one downloaded, and I'll just slide that into this FFmpeg folder. I'm going to download the FFE user interface. So I'll go to this URL, and that downloaded right here, and I'll slide that into the same directory or folder on my local computer. All right, so now that we have these two files, we need to unzip them, and they can both reside within the same directory or folder that I called here FFmpeg. So I'll click on this top zip file, Select it, right mouse button, click on Extract All. And I want to extract it into this directory, so I'm just going to back out this guy here. Oops. So I want to go into this directory here and click on Extract. All right, and then I want to extract this zip file here also. So I'll right mouse button, extract all, and I'm going to back this out and just have it go to the FFmpeg directory and click on extract. All right, so at this point, I no longer need these compressed zip files, so I could delete this and delete this. So now I just have these two file directories. I'm going to create one more directory here. And I'm going to click on New Folder, and I'm going to call it Converted. So this is where my new converted.mov files are going to be outputted to. All right, so now let's set up our program data here. So double-click on the FFE underscore X64 folder, and then you'll see the FFE.exe file. That's actually the executable to run the program. So select it, right mouse button, Click on Copy. Then click the up arrow to go back up to one directory. And then we'll go into this folder here. Go into the bin folder. Right mouse button and click on Paste. Paste in that FFE.exe file. Now let's execute the FFE.exe file. So we'll just double click on this. And it says that this executable does not exist on the Microsoft App Store. And that's fine. We'll just click on Install anyway. And it says, please locate the FFmpeg binary, which is right here. So we'll go to our PC and we'll click on Documents. And we'll go down here to our folder we created called FFmpeg. And we'll get into this directory here and we'll click on the bin directory. Okay, then we'll select the ffmpeg.exe and click on open. So I'm just gonna stretch this out here so it's bigger. All right, so now you need to tell the program what is the MOV file that you want to convert. So up in the upper right hand corner, click on this icon here to browse and find your .mov file you want to convert. So select that and then your file browser will come up and then find your file that you're looking for. 
and mine happens to be this guy right here and I just happen to create it in videos so I'll just click on him and click on open and then the path to that MOV file shows up right here all right so then here is the path to your output file so I'm going to select that browser icon and remember that I created that converted folder so I'm gonna to go to my PC um, let's see documents so for me I created this folder FFmpeg inside my documents area but like I said you could have created this anywhere you just need to remember where you created it so click on FFmpeg and then here's the converted folder that I created so I'll select that folder and then we need to give it a name I'll just say converted one and then give it an extension of dot mov and click on save and then you'll see that output path changed to that area look over here where it says the output parameter this area here so under the video codec you want PNG. Under the audio codec, you want AAC. Just make sure those are correct. If not, you just use the pull down and select them. All right, you should be all set to go. So all you need to do now is come down here to the lower right corner and click on do it. Now the time that this runs will depend on the size of your MOV file, of course. All right, so in my case, it said that it completed in one minute and 56 seconds. Converted one dot MOV did get created here. But up here, it says the output was the original file name dot MKV. So for some reason, it didn't use this output file name. It used the output file name that I told it to save it as, which is good. But for some reason, if it doesn't save it as the file name that you told it to, just make sure that you come up here to the output file name and change the .mkv to a .mov file. And then you should be okay. But in any case, mine saved out to the file name that I told it to. So now this MOV file will have the PNG codec code embedded in it and it can be imported into Camtasia 9 or any other video editing tool that supports the PNG codec. All right, so I hope you found this video useful and we'll see you in the next one. Talk to you later. Bye-bye.